everyone welcome to heaven healing and tarot this is Christina today's pick a card is you versus them so we'll get your feelings versus their feelings and then the really uh, the feelings for the relationship between the two of you so make sure you have a person in mind like I've said before it could be somebody you're with somebody you want to be with somebody from way back when in the past or somebody you don't even know a future somebody you know you can set your intention like I want to know my future person what what will they think about me or what will I think about them okay so you can do that too so anyway uh, let's uh, let me send out some healing take a deep breath with me you ready here we go All right, today, pile one, we're picking with green. <laughs> we have the polka dot flower, pile two, the glitter flower, and pile three, the dark green flower. Take a moment, pick the pile you are most drawn to with your set intention, and uh, I'll get started with pile one. Okay, pile one, if you chose polka dot, this is it. Let's see. We're going to get your feelings towards your person first. Let's see. Not that you don't know what your feelings are, but we'll, we'll see. Judgment, strength, king of swords. All right, so what I'm getting from this is that you want a second chance. You want a second chance with your person, but you might be afraid to let them know. There's something you're afraid to speak. You're afraid to speak up. You're you're trying to find your courage. So there's a second chance here for sure. So, um, you know, if this is somebody you're with, then you want a second chance to make something right. Because you you you're the King of Swords and you have clarity. You you are trying to use logic over your emotions right now you're trying to figure out maybe the best strategy to approach your person all right so let's let's uh let's take a look at theirs knight of swords the emperor nine of wands hmm. let me move these over so we can get a better Get them better, better view. Okay. Should just adjust the camera, but that's always a pain for me. Um, all right. So they are, they are in their power. They are alpha. They feel like they have the upper hand here and they might, they might, but to be honest with you, I, they haven't given up on you either. They haven't given up on this. So if this is somebody you're with and you're fighting with or you're separated from, something like that, they haven't given up and they really want it to work. If this is somebody you, I, I, for some reason, I'm getting like this is somebody, somebody like from the past, but like, like a while back in the past, not like your last relationship. Like uh, uh, it feels like a while ago and you're like I really wish I could have a second chance because you know that was my best relationship or that was the best person I was ever with or something like that they treated me the best so I wish I could have a do-over and that's what this kind of feels like so I'm going to go with that but you take it for how it resonates because it does make sense in other ways as well um, so just you know take it for how it fits for you I, but what I'm, I'm getting a sense that you both would love a do-over, but neither one of you are like making it happen yet. But I think that if like you were to let your person know 
they would come charging in and be like, yeah, let's do this. And, and, and like be the hero and sweep you off your feet. And, but I think they need to have a clue first. I think they need to know. I don't feel like they've given up on you. Nine of wands. That's, that's the card of endurance of pers- you know, perseverance. They haven't given up. And I think, you know, with the strength card in, on your pile, you're, you're trying to find the strength to let them know. Oh, let's get cards for the the relationship. Queen of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Two of Wands. Yeah, this could definitely, definitely, definitely happen if you guys wanted to. Soulmates are here, you know, Two of Cups. That's the deep spiritual bond between two people. So there's definitely a bond. There's definitely a cord between the two of you. No doubt in my mind about that. But somebody's got to decide. Somebody's got to decide to come forward. Now, somebody in this relationship is also the Queen of Pentacles. And that's like my single mom card. Somebody who's independent and, and taking care of themselves. So somebody might be so independent that they're like, ah, I don't know if I want to, if I want to do this. I don't know if I want to reach out. I don't know if I want to let them know. But two of wands is a choice. It's it's which path do I take? It's a waiting game. Some I think you both are like kind of waiting for a sign here. I think both of you need to find a way to each out to each other. I think you both need to to figure you figure it out. I think you both need to step up, speak up, reach out. Both of you need to do something because I think that both of you um, are a little unsure. But I think this could work out beautifully if 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 you guys uh, spoke up. So, let's see here. Great good fortune, four leaf clover. Luck is on your side. Come on now. Affairs with your family, the tree. Okay, so um I I, I think that luck is on your side with this. You could definitely have this relationship if you wanted it. Um and I think the tree is more like becoming a family, being part of each other's family tree having a stable and sturdy relationship like a tree trees are strong you know they put in roots and they grow together you know they 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 expand they reach for the sun and the sun and the tarot is is happiness sounds like my son's home um so i ah, i want you guys to reach out i want somebody to reach out New beginnings. There could be a new beginning here. There could be a fresh start. A second chance. A new beginning. It looks like that door is going to open. It looks like there's going to be an opportunity for this to happen. I'm excited. I'm excited. You're too fragmented. Do whatever it takes to get grounded. The tortoise energy. Okay, so... Um, somebody's thoughts are all over the place. I think they want you to get focused. I think they want you to... to if this is a... Sorry, my, my son is yelling at the dog to be quiet. If you heard that. Um, if you all right, let's just take this scenario, okay? And this doesn't have to be your exact scenario, but take it how it resonates, okay? Say you are you've been single for a while. Queen of Pentacles is here, right? So say you have been single, and this is somebody from the distant past, 
and you're like, oh, I'd really like a second chance with that person. But that might be too, it might be too long gone. It might be too far in the past. I don't know if I could resurrect that. Well, maybe this person or maybe that person, or maybe I could do this, or maybe I could find somebody new, or, or maybe I should go on the apps, or maybe I should just go out more. Maybe, maybe somebody can introduce me. Like, I feel like that's the energy where it's, you're thinking of all these different people or different scenarios where you can meet, meet your person. So I want you to say, get focused, pick somebody, make a choice. And then do what you can to make it work. And if it doesn't work, that's okay. You have other options, right? But I think they want you to focus. And if that's not your energy, it's theirs. They want them to focus. So, okay. Abracadabra. I love that word. It's a magical word. I forget why, but it is. <laughs> so let's see. I think it's just like a very powerful manifesting tool to say those words because words are powerful, right? Aladdin's not the only one with three wishes. You too have a magical lamp that can summon all you desire to your doorstep. It's a simple matter of making a clear intention and letting go of any full notion that you have to wait for the genie. You are the magic. So again, set your intention. Focus. If this is the person you want to be with, then let's manifest them. Let's manifest them by pretending or thinking that we're already with them. That they're already our partner. That this can happen. That this can work. That you guys can have a wonderful life together. Abracadabra. They'll appear. You don't have to wait for a wish. You don't have to wait for anything. Go get them. Go get them. All right, let's uh, get a few more here. Heed wise counsel. Listen, yeah, heed wise. Heed Christina's wise wise counsel and listen to her. <laughs> No, I'm not that wise. I just, uh, you know, pick up on energy. But anyway, <laughs> um, you know, maybe you should talk to somebody. Maybe somebody who you both know. Maybe you could say, hey, is so-and-so single? You think so-and-so would be interested? Because I've been thinking about them a lot lately and I'd really like to hear from them. Or I'd li really like to know what's going on in their life. Maybe, you know, I don't know. But you know what I mean? Like talk to somebody. Get, get, it, get somebody else's advice if you're unsure of your own. And that works in any situation. So let's see what else we got. A fiery climax approaches. Okay. I am not feeling a heated argument from that. What I'm feeling is passion, chemistry, combustion, heat. I, I think, uh, I think when you guys come together, it's going to be fiery and passionate and explosive. <laughs> It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be amazing. That's what I'm feeling from that. I'm feeling like real passion here. Whew. All right, let's see. What else we got? Oh my goodness. It's true love. You are soulmates. Now it's it's definitely true love. There is there is a uh, um, a heart link here. I feel I felt the cord between the two of you. I, that cord was never severed, and it's true love for you. So now, what are you going to do about it? 
I don't know. Let's get a, a love advice card. Passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I was feeling. Exactly. Amazing. All right. What crystal can help you here? Let's see. We have hematite. When holding this gem, you can feel its warmth. Mother Earth loves the stone. It is magnificent in structure and aids in one's ability to reap what one has sown. Ugh, it's a cormac stone. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, everything in this reading is good. There is no bad karma. It's only good karma. So if you put out love, you're going to get love in return. But what else does hematite to? Let me see if I can. Did I write anything down for hematite? Hematite releases negativity and it heals all old wounds so if this is the scenario that i'm thinking it is and it is somebody from the past if you hold on to hematite it's going to heal any of those past old wounds and make you love again make you come back together make you guys see the light look you have luck on your side here this is true love Abracadabra. <laughs> Make my person appear. Oh, look at this. It's going to be a home run. You're going to knock it out of the park. It's going to be a wish come true with lots of reasons to smile. Somebody's going to put a smile on your face. You're going to write this new chapter in your book of love with all the soulmate energy and true love. Yeah, it's going to be a sweet reward. A very sweet reward for you. You guys are going to dance in the moonlight there. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm excited for you. This feels so amazing. You guys can make this happen. You really can. You can make this work. Do what you got to do. All right, Pile One. That's what I got for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All of those things help me greatly, and I appreciate you for that. Till next time, love and light. Okay, Pile Two, if you chose the glitter flower the green glitter then this one's going to be your reading let's get your cards we're going to get um your feelings first so let's take a look at that queen of swords judgment the moon oh boy okay let's see here so Queen of Swords is trying to use logic over her emotions. Judgment is second chance. Analyzing, taking a look at things. And the moon is things that are unclear. So you have a queen here who really wants answers. Wants to know if this is their, their person. If this is who they should be with. Is this right for them? They're really taking a look at things. They could be taking a look at past relationships and how they went. Looking at this one and how this one's treating them and treating, um, you know, and where it could go in the future. But, you know, as, as try as she might, she can't figure it out. For some reason, there's something that's making her question this relationship with the moon. She is unsure of the future. And that does not sit well with the queen because the queen needs to know. The queen needs to know things. She likes honesty and she likes clarity. So she's doing her best to really analyze the situation. So we'll see. We'll see how 
Let's take a look at your person's feelings. Now your person has King of Wands energy with the Five of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles. So, hmm, you know what I'm feeling from this person. And, you know, just because I'm saying he and she, you know that it doesn't matter, right? Because there really is no gender in tarot. I'm just picking up on energy here. So now the king, I feel, is very passionate about his queen. I feel like he wants his queen. He, but I feel like the king is a little too alpha. A little too, it's my way. We got to do things my way. A little too controlling. And I think the king knows it. I think the king knows that, that they have some uh, things to work on. That they're hot, maybe hot-headed or quick to judge. And... Uh, they have, a, they have a fear. They have an anxiety here of being left out in the cold because they uh, are who they are and they're, they know that sometimes they're too strong. They come across too, uh, dare I say, narcissistic. I'm not feeling that like so greatly, so badly. I'm not. I'm just, I'm feeling a little bit of, of control here. Like, they're used to being boss, or they're used to getting their way. But I feel like they're willing to put in the work. With the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like they, they really want this relationship to work. They really want to work on themselves. They really want to do better. It's just sometimes they might not know how, or they might slip back into their old ways. So... And I think that's what the queen is trying to decide. Do I, do I give them the chance to learn and grow? Do I give them the chance? Because, you know, I know that they're a good person. But do I want to put up with their BS? Is this what I want? Will this make me happy in the long run? So I think, I think the queen is trying to decide that. And I think the king is saying, look, I'm... I, I'm willing to do the work. I am. Please be patient with me. I just have all this fire inside of me. I have all this desire for you. So I, I really do feel like the king is going to have deep feelings or has deep feelings. It's just the queen has to decide, is this relationship right for, the, right for her? So let's get the energy between the two. We got the hermit searching for answers. Justice. Okay, so things will be in alignment and balanced out. And Ten of Pentacles. Yes, my favorite card. So yes, I do feel like this is going to work out beautifully. But I feel like you guys have to learn each other. You have to learn how to um, deal with each other's personalities. And how they handle a situation versus how you handle a situation. You know, we have to remember we can't change people. They People who are who they are. The only person that can change them is themselves, right? They can learn and grow and, and want to change and want to be better and tr strive to be, um, you know, a better person. So I feel like if you guys figure each other out and you guys compromise then I think that you guys can do this. I feel like if you could just don't assume you know what the other person is thinking and feeling. Because as humans, we do that a lot. You know, we tend to get in our head and we're like, oh no, they think this. When really, that's not what they're thinking. They're thinking something else. But we stress ourselves out so much over what we think that they're thinking. And they might not be even thinking that at all. So I think you guys have to learn each other. I feel like if you learn each other and you learn how to deal with each other, um, this could be a beautiful relationship. Ten of Pentacles is, is just, 
for me, the best card, the best card, it's, it's love, it's happiness, it's abundance, it's money, it's, it's, it's the whole kit and caboodle, it's everything. So yes, I feel like this could work out beautifully. You just have to, you know, work at it a little bit. Seek out information that will help you. Uh, honestly, what I'm getting from that is counseling. Go to counseling. It might help you deal with your issues. And they, they might be able to give you some insight on how to deal with your person's issues. And if you don't want to go to counseling per se, but maybe you speak to somebody who's older and wiser and who knows, who can help counsel you or give you some good advice but as soon as I touched that card I heard counseling anyway bread a period of prosperity and abundance there's that ten of pentacles there's there that is you guys are going to be beautiful together as long as you can work it through work through your issues I love a, getting abundance in a relationship read. It's it's just amazing. It just it just tells me that yes, this can work out beautifully. There's happiness here. You know, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Gold pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Unconditional love. So what does that say? It says that you got to love each other. Good, bad and ugly. You just have to be unconditional with it. And I think that this is saying that you do. You do love each other unconditionally. You just get frustrated at times. And vice versa. Your person gets frustrated with you. That's normal. That's a normal relationship. And I always preach. Pain. I mean, growth comes from pain. The most growth, anyway. The most growth comes from pain. The most growth comes from uncomfortable situations. So that's where we learn. That's where we grow. That's where we expand. So yeah, this is a normal relationship. This is okay. Even the best relationships aren't hearts and flowers all the time you know the best relationships have conflict manatee accept the situation as it is rather than fighting to change it right there you go you have to accept each other you have to have unconditional love for each other can't try to change each other you have to accept your person for who they are and vice versa exactly Just say now. I've read this card a million times and I still don't remember what it means. <laughs> the divine buzz. Everybody has a different phrasing for it. Being in the now. A connection with all that is. Living in the moment. Here's the thing. There are no words that can explain it. But baby, you know you can feel it. Savor it for all it's worth. So live in the now. Enjoy every moment. You can't worry about the future. The future will work itself out. You just have to make the best of every moment you can. So just find positives in every moment. If you are in, say you fight with your person and you're angry and you're upset, find the positive. Well, I learned something from that. There's the positive. I won't make that mistake again. Or, you know, you know what I mean? There's, there's always something to look forward to. So live in the now. Find the positive. Positive, uplifting new friends. Hedgehog love. Okay, so surround yourself with positive people and that will help uplift the two of you as well. Just stay positive. Surround yourself with positive. The answers you need are coming. You'll understand what you want, what you need to know. 
this could be your answer right here. You could understand things that you needed to know right now. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Living in the now. Taking time to smell the roses. Staying positive. Finding the, the, uh, the best in things. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Okay, so try to be friends. Try to be there for each other. Try to see each other's side. Put, it, put yourself in each other's shoes. You know, ha lean on each other. Support each other. Be there for each other. Be that friend. And the love will just continue to grow and grow and grow. I think that's what everybody strives for is to find their best friend. All right. What crystal? Well, you got silver. It's not really crystal, but that's okay. Try bending light. If you use silver, you can wholeheartedly create more fashioning what you desire. So it's about manifestation. Manifest what you want. How do you see your relationship going? What do you want for your future? Just picture it with your person. And silver can help you do that. It can help you manifest the beautiful future that you want. Let's pull you some charms. Big love. Big hugs. Teddy bear hugs. You're going in the right direction. I think you're with the right person, or you will be, if you're this person's not here yet. There's love here. You guys are just going to unlock it, and you're going to flourish. You're going to have some light bulb moments, some epiphanies. This is a learning and growing relationship. It, you guys are going to learn and grow together. This is a gift from the universe. It is a gift from your angels. So um, be happy about it because it it's it it is it is. It's a great, it's a great adventure for you. And it's a journey. There you go. Yes, it's just going to be a journey. It's going to be a journey. So just enjoy it while you, enjoy every step. Don't worry about getting to the finish line. Just enjoy every step you take. Even the ones that hurt you or the ones that make you sad or upset. There's a reason for it. Okay, you're learning from it. So... There you go, Pile 2. That is what I got for you. I do like this. I really do. This is a, a, this is a good relationship. Ten of Pentacles. That means there's a lot of happiness coming in for you. So overall, you're going to be happy. And abundant. Best, best, best. <laughs> it's just the best. All right, that's what I got for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All of those things help me, and I appreciate you. Till next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 3. If you choose the dark green flower, then this one is your reading. Let's get, let's get, um, oh, I forgot a charm. Let's get, um, your feelings. Okay, we have three of cups, temperance strength all right so um i don't know if your person's with somebody but three cups sometimes signifies a third party so i don't know if your person's with somebody and you're waiting for that to be over with or what you're waiting for them to end it with them because you tem temperance is here and that's patience so you're having patience and you're having strength you're calling on all your strength to wait for your person you're, you're calling on your strength to have the courage to, to, you know, not be so controlling and to, to allow things to happen naturally and in divine timing. But it does kind of feel like you're waiting for them to end something with somebody else. That's what I'm picking up right now. So let's just get some more. Let's, let's figure this out. <sighs> I'm sorry. I don't like this. I don't like that you have to wait on anybody, but you don't have to wait. 
you're choosing to. All right, here we go. We have Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Eight of Swords. All right, Pile Three. I wish I had like fantastic news for you, but it's not terrible, but it's not, it's not the greatest either. I got to say this. I feel like your person knows what they want and they're trying to stand up for themselves, but at the same time, they're scared. They're scared to take a risk. So I feel like they're comfortable where they're at. They're not happy. They're not getting fulfillment. They're not satisfied with life. They are restless. They, but they're afraid of change or they're afraid of taking a risk. I don't know. I, I don't know. Because Eight of Pentacles is here. So that means they're, they're working hard at something. What are they working hard? They're working hard at defending themselves with that Seven of Wands. Or they're working hard to get out of what they're already involved in. And that's causing them stress. I'm a little, I'm a little confused on this one. So we'll see. Let's get the, let's get the energy of the relationship. And that could help. Ten of Cups. Okay. That helps a lot, right? Six of Cups. Five of Wands. All right. So I feel like you guys both know that you're each other's Ten of Cups. You're you're both each other's like love. Like this would make you guys so happy. This could be somebody that you've already been dealing with. It's, it could be somebody from childhood. <sighs> you know, Six of Cups is is. You know, either remembering things, the way things, they, how they used to be. Or somebody, you know, this is a reappearance. So I, for some reason, I think that there used to be happiness here between the two of you. Some kind of happiness, even if it was just a friendship. I feel like you the two of you used to be happy and you want that back. But there's some conflict here. And the conflict is pointless. It's not five of swords, it's five of wands. It's like people beating each other with sti sticks, not swords. So it's not like they're life or death. It's not it's not a battle. It's pretend fighting. It's it's uh, it's play acting. It's, it's, it's just something getting in the way. It's just an obstacle. There's an obstacle here. And this obstacle feels like another person, a third party. And you're trying to be very patient. And your person is trying to defend themselves in some way. Like either they're defending themselves to you. Like I got to do this the right way. You know, I can't make waves. I, 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 or they're defending themselves to their person saying, you know, this isn't making me happy anymore. This isn't what I want. I want to go after what I want. But they're in their head. They are definitely in their head. But the two of you, there's, there's love here. There's a lot of love here. So we'll see where it goes. Involvement, ma, involvement with the law. Position of authority. Interesting. All right. Either you or your person. Involvement from the law could be a divorce situation. That's a legal situation, right? And so somebody might be trying to get divorced. 
it feels like your person because it feels like you're being you're patiently waiting for them um but involvement for the law could also mean that they are they work in law enforcement some way somehow police officer lawyer judge even councilman a state representative like a senator congressman governor mayor because position of authority is here so somebody holds a position of authority could just be a police officer they hold a position of authority right so I feel like your person has some kind of a position of authority and is either works in the law or is going through something legal they could be, uh, like I said, getting a divorce or have they have a lawsuit. They're waiting on a settlement, something. There's something here with your person. It does kind of feel like divorce, though. All right, let's see. Partnership and love. Partnerships and love. That scares me a little bit. Because if there's a third party, there are partnerships, right? So I think that card's just pointing out that there's an issue here. There's an issue. But I do feel like there's love here. I do feel there's love between the two of you. And I do feel like this can work out. I think it's a divine timing thing. Unfortunately, I think you're going to have to have a little more, bit more patience. I think things have to play out the way that they have to play out. And I hate saying that, but that's what I'm getting. Face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious. The boar. I feel like that's what your person needs to do. I think your person needs to face their problems. Face their issues. Deal with them. Face them. And stop being afraid. Stop being so anxious and worried. They have ten of cups coming with you. So I feel like they need to, you know, get into that boar spirit and uh, solve their problems. Nasty knot. Oh, well, that one scares me a little bit. I don't know what that. I don't know what that means, but I don't like that nasty knot. Forty-seven. Let's see. Despite how it looks, you can now slip easily out of your current ensnarement. It only looks like quicksand. In reality, getting free is a piece of angel food cake. Leave the drama behind. Yum. That's for your person. Your person has to get out of their entanglement. Well, they used ensnarement. They have to get out of their ensnarement. They have to be the boar and face it. And do the, take the steps that they have to take to get out of it. I think they they want it. They want. I think they want you. I do. Um, I think they're just you know afraid of their consequences. Which makes them less attractive in my book. <laughs> but you know, I feel like they'll they'll step up. They're gonna step up. The serpentine path to power. Yeah, like they, this wasn't an easy road. Like this isn't going to be an easy solution. Their, their, their path is going to be twisty and, and, and windy and, and, and wavy. And they're going to get there. They're going to get there. Um, they're going to have success with you. It's just <sighs> patience is being called upon. Strength is being called for. Sorry. Again. Don't like that for you, but it is what it is. This is the person you chose. This is the person you want to be with.
confidence is the key to your success. Again, I feel like that's for your person. I feel like most of this message is your person needs to step up. Just step up already. <laughs> you're doing what you need to do. You're being patient and you're calling on your strength. Let go of control issues. That could be for both of you. But somebody has to surrender and let this happen and not control every little aspect of it. Trust that it's going to work out. Trust in divine timing. Oh, they keep dropping cards. Hang on. All right. Your card is playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. So laugh at some of your issues. Just keep it light. Try to, try to keep the drama to a minimum. And just have fun. I think your person will appreciate you for that. All right. Let's get a... Uh, And maybe when your person gets stressed out, maybe you can lighten the mood too. That might help them. All right, you got aquamarine. Use when meeting and arranging events. Many people find you interesting. Avoid, oh, that's dumb. Avoid blue crystals. Um, okay, so let's see, aquamarine. What else do I got here? Because that's that didn't help. Aquamarine, where are you? It clears negativity. It helps with love. And it clears out dreariness. So it, 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 helps, it helps your person and you not to be sad. And it helps bring you guys together in love. And it, it releases negativity. So that's a beautiful stone right now to have. All right, so let's get you... some charms here we go you got a new life new life new life is coming and it's going to be a miracle new life and miracle to that together reminds me of baby so just keep that in mind that's not for everybody luck is on your side the angels are here loving you supporting you through this you will get through this, but a change has to happen. All right? A change has to happen. But again, luck is on your side. You're going in the right direction. And you have a chapter of love here. A new chapter of love. Look, you got the baby, baby footprint. So there could be a pregnancy here. Some hair. Some way. Just saying, if that's your scenario where there's a pregnancy, um, this reading probably didn't relate to you the way that I spoke it, but look a little deeper into it. Um, some of the things I said will resonate and you can take some of the things I said and make it fit your scenario. So take really what le resonates, okay? Even if, even if I didn't articulate your particular situation. Because I didn't see baby at all. I didn't see it. They didn't show me baby. But they're showing me baby now. So. Alright. That's what I got for you, Pile 3. I hoped it helped and I hope it did resonate. Give the video a like for me. Subscribe to the channel. And leave me a comment. All of those things will help me. And I appreciate you for them. Till next time, love and light.